In this module, we will cover all the groundwork we need to do to prepare our lighting and rendering pipeline. Several plates and reference footage are provided for the course. We will use these during the course and the assignments. Please take some time to get familiar with the folder structure of the shops. You have two folders called HDB and JPN. These are the sequence folders and within are the individual shots. Let's take a look at one of the shots to get familiar with the folder structure. Elem has the plates and reference images associated to the shot. Source for plates and ref for lighting reference. Note in source, you will find different sequences of the same plate. We will need this when we prepare our slab comps in Nuke. Getting to know the shots and available reference is an important first step to prepare your lighting setup. The knowledge will ultimately guide your setup decisions. This might seem like a very logical thing to do, but is often forgotten during the pressures of production. Here are a few points on what to look out for when getting familiar with our plates and references. Interior or exterior environments will affect the type of lights you use or try to emulate. You will also need to take consideration of the technical approach on how you light your scene between these two environments. The geographical location can influence light angle of the sun, haze levels, and or color shifts. Similar to location, time of day will affect the sun. Sometimes you have special cases where night scenes are shot during the day, called day for night, using heavy ND filters. Take note of that, as you will have to come up with a lighting approach which works for you as well as the downstream departments like COM. Often easier to identify in the HGRIs or reference footage, try to identify if natural lighting or set lights were used. When you look at your shots, try also to figure out the main key light direction. Sometimes between shots, the lighting changes quite dramatically. This could be on purpose or simply based on the fact that the shots weren't shot in sequence or the lighting condition changed on set throughout the shoot. Lastly, lighting is there to help tell the story. You can set and define the mood and guide the viewer through the story using lighting. So take note what the intention of the sequence is. Keep an eye out also for the technical specs which you need to know for your scene setup. I generally recommend artists to keep these points in mind when looking at the plates and reference footage. Especially the reference spheres will come in handy to analyze lighting. 